Hi, I'm Anya, also known as Mepity, and in today's video, I'll be showing you 10 ways to make your digital line art look cooler. I'll be using Procreate, but these tips can apply to any software. So, line art is a huge part of many people's art. It's a defining element in terms of style, atmosphere, and also indicates an artist's technical skill. A trap many people fall into, however, is selecting a relatively boring line art style that does little to enhance the drawing. The art may still look great, but it lacks the oomph that a more unique, considered line provides. The techniques I'll be suggesting can be used in all kinds of combinations, and it's up to you to explore what works best. Some are more suited to things like animation and detailed pieces, whilst others are perhaps better for illustrations, etc. Currently you're watching a time-lapse of the more generic style, that'll be my starting point, but without further ado, here's 10 ways to make those lines more interesting. Change the colour of your lines. This is one of the simplest, but most effective changes you can make to line art. Depending on the colour or colours you choose, you can soften or harden the look of a piece to make it feel cooler, warmer, funkier, happier, etc. I tend to go with dark brown because it's less harsh than black but is still dark and adds a hint of warmth and cosiness to my art. I've always enjoyed seeing ultramarine or red lines too. You can get really experimental, even white has its place. Additionally, you can make different parts of the drawings different colours, either to match what's underneath or to create a more rainbowy effect. Using interesting textured brushes is a rather underrated way of making a piece more exciting. As mentioned in my texture video linked below, it can also be useful for shading uh, to create visual interest. Some brushes can feel sketchier or more harsh, others can feel more fuzzy and friendly. It's up to you to play around with the brushes your software has to offer, so if with me, I'm really falling in love with the new ones in Procreate 5, such as the Derwent Pencil and Inca. Varying line weight is pretty vital to most art styles. Depending on how you use it, line weight can indicate darker or deeper parts of the drawing, or make certain parts feel heavier and thicker. People often use thicker lines for large, swooping shapes and thinner lines for small details. It can also be used for pure interest, especially if making lines super wobbly and bubbly, kind of like one of the styles I like to do, which you can see in my three art styles video, and kind of similar to what I've done here. This one can be done by duplicating the line art layer and offsetting, but I prefer this double pass technique when you just draw the line art twice. Be sure in the second time to not always touch the original lines. Making it slightly skew if can give a more um, homemade feel and can also create the illusion of thickness even if you're using a thin brush like I am. So for this next trick, you need to duplicate your current line art, and on that new layer, add a little Gaussian blur. I'm not sure why this looks cool to me, but I honestly think it amplifies the vast majority of line art styles. I assume it's in part because it helps hide any little mistakes, but also I think it creates this nice sense of three-dimensionality. I often enjoy making the blurred layer colourful too. You can also try motion and perspective blur, or whatever else your software offers, to achieve slightly different effects. Motion, for example, creates a directionality to the blur, and perspective creates a focal point, which usually I put on the face or eyes. Just be careful with this one and avoid overly blurring the lines. Another super quick one, all you do for this is shift the whole line art layer just a little. This one doesn't always work though, especially if there's a lot of detail in your piece. 
Like, I honestly don't think it looks too good on my example here, but it can look really cool, especially for comic book type art, seeing as it has the same effect as a misprint in old fashioned books. The offsetting can also be done by scaling up or down the line art, but you have to be really careful to not go overboard and accidentally make a mess. Before playing around, I suggest duplicating the original version so you can go back if you mess up. This technique can look really different depending on how you choose to use it, but it's essentially using the line art layer to block in areas of shadow. This is also pretty similar to screen printed work and old fashioned comics. Here I chose to do it in a more graphic way, not really my favourite, but you can be a lot more detailed with your line work to indicate textures and even gradients, kind of like these images. Note in my drawing the use of negative space. This can be helpful for especially dark areas that still need some definition. This is kind of an odd one, but can look awesome when done properly. It's where you do the colouring on top of your lines. It's mostly reserved for styles that have less focus on line art and more on shading and volume, but can really apply anywhere. To me, it gives off a lino print sort of vibe because it's kind of a reductive process as you're taking away more of the lines with the more colouring you do. The way I start is by making the line art overly thick. Then I lower the opacity so I can see the sketch underneath, aka where I want the line to actually end up. I then just add colours in separate layers which is definitely more labour intensive than standard but totally worth it. More painterly styles often go in and blend the shading and lines but I just kept mine crisp. Okay, so with this one, how about taking the line art away completely? So I know this isn't quite a line art advice tip thing, but it's a style that really lends itself to a lot of pieces. Though it means you have to be much more precise with your colouring underneath, it also means you don't have to spend so much time on the lines themselves. I adore making lineless art because of the paper cutout look it can create. That being said, it's still useful in a lineless style to add a couple things here and there where there may be intersections of some of the same colour, it just helps differentiate those parts. For this final tip, it's about combining traditional and digital by using a scan or high quality photo of your line art as the final image. This has a much more organic feel than the computerized, pixelated brushes as long as the photo is high quality enough. I suggest making sure your canvas is at least 1000 by 1000 pixels and around 300 dpi, aka technical stuff that you don't really need to understand but it stands for dots per inch. I kind of cheated here as the image already existed so I traced for accuracy, but normally this would be one of the first steps in the process and once scanned in, any cleanup can be made and the layer can be set to multiply. I suggest adjusting the layer to ensure the background is either removed or pure white. Okay, that's all my tips for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you have any favourites? Do you already do any of these? How about any other ideas you can share? Whilst you're down there, don't forget to like the video and subscribe! I make all kinds of art related videos generally once every two weeks. Why not also follow my Instagrams at Anya.Arts and Mepity. Anya Arts is more for polished work, whilst Mepity is sketches, works in progress, general goofing around, etc. And how about supporting me on Patreon? For $4 a month, you get to watch my videos early. You also get exclusive access to some other bits and bobs, including my CalArts portfolio, and you get unlimited access to audio critiques from me. People have been finding these especially useful for portfolios and so on. A huge thanks to my current patrons, Suze, Alicia, Norio, Noah, Mama, Miss Fell, Meep, Massey, Lena, La Dolcevia, Gagli, Emily, Brisa, B, and a very tiny B. You guys mean an awful lot to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!